Amazing but true. Six New Jersey women hospitalized this week after receiving black market butt implants. Their procedures were performed by unlicensed providers who used commercial silicone, the same stuff contractors use to caulk bathtubs in their butts. How can you prevent this sort of thing from happening? We're joined by doctors Jennifer Walden, Michelle Yagoda, and Yael Halas. Good morning to all three of you ladies. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so let's start with this, uh, Dr. Halas. Amazing that people could actually, actually be injected with, with caulk that you can buy at the hardware store. What's going on? Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's frightening, and it's something that angers me so much. I'm, I've, I've done multiple interviews and articles about this because we're seeing it more and more. A lot of the times, it's very frequently within the Hispanic community that they want to have JLo's gorgeous derriere right. and they're using the silicone and they're going to unlicensed professionals commonly these people claim to be doctors in another country or they claim to be assistants working in doctors offices and they promise and swear that the product is real but it's actually silicone that they picked up at home depot i can't imagine the effects of that but that's what you're seeing you try and then provide care to these people who've gone through this we have we're, we're on a monthly basis, we're seeing infections, we're seeing gross deformities, and not just in the buttocks, but in the face. Wow. And it's really traumatizing, and these people are just victimized by friends in hair salons right. and manicure parlors. All right, Dr. Walden, let me bring you into the next topic, because a woman now claiming she has four breasts after having breast implant surgery. Could that be true? Well, that sounds like a sensational way to put it. What it sounds like happened, and I don't know the specifics of this case, is that the woman has developed a double bubble deformity, which is when the implant slides below the inframammary crease of the breast and just shows that there's a bubble above and below. And it sounds like to me that perhaps there is some uh, discrepancy in preoperative informed consent, because this is something that can happen with large breast implants, with surgical manipulation of the inframammary fold, and um, just with time with lax tissues and so this is a complication of right. breast implant surgery that the average patient just probably hasn't heard about. All right, Dr. Yagoda, there's been another liposuction death at one of these so-called spas. What goes on there? Are there real, real physicians there? Oftentimes they're not, but it's important for a patient to realize that the state gives a, a doctor a license to practice medicine and surgery. And that doesn't necessarily mean that the doctor is experienced. There are four approved pathways to go into plastic surgery. One is general surgery. It tends to go, the patients, the people who train in that tend to go into general plastic surgery. Ear, nose, and throat facial plastic surgery is the path. In oculoplastic surgery, usually the doctor comes from a background in ophthalmology. And in orthopedics, usually the pathway is to hand surgery. Right. If your doctor is an OBGYN, radiologist, or else, you need to learn very much about his or her training and background. All right, ladies, thank you so much for that doctor advice this morning. Appreciate it. Thank More you. Fox and Friends just two minutes away.